Every year, the National Deer Association compiles deer harvest estimates from around North America for our annual deer report to help track our most important wildlife species. And every year, some hunters tell us these statistics couldn't possibly be reliable because nobody asked them how many deer they killed. Well, I can see how this doesn't appear to make sense. If you didn't report your deer harvest and nobody from the wildlife agency called you to ask, how can the state know exactly how many deer were killed? Or how many bucks were killed? Or how many does? Well, first, no state knows exactly how many deer were killed each year. But they don't need to know an exact number to be able to make wise decisions about seasons, bag limits, and other regulations that ensure sustainable deer populations. This is because they can get very reliable estimates through scientific survey techniques. All you have to do is randomly survey a large enough sample of hunters and you might be surprised at how few it takes to get a valid estimate of how many deer were killed, what sex they were, and more. For example, using a free online random survey calculator, we ran some numbers. For a state with, let's say, 250,000 deer hunters, you would only need to randomly survey 2,500 hunters, about 1% of them to get results with a margin of error as low as plus or minus 2%. Random sampling also works for estimating the age of deer in the harvest. Biologists don't have to pull a jawbone from every deer. They only need to randomly survey a small number of deer harvested around the state at check stations, deer processors, and other locations to get an accurate estimate of the age distribution of deer. That's how we know, for example, that U.S. hunters are harvesting more bucks aged three and a half and older than ever before in modern history. So, whether your state uses random hunter surveys or mandatory reporting with less than 100% compliance by hunters, your wildlife agency is working with very reliable estimates when they make decisions affecting hunters and the deer herd.